is Ben. This is my first YouTube video. The channel that you're on right now is Ben Fishing. Please subscribe. Um, to, um, on this channel, you will be featuring fly fishing, fly tying, fishing, possibly hunting. And did I mention? And did I mention fishing? All right, fishing. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my brother right now. Um, this is my brother. He's a little wackadoodle sometimes. Um, he'll be in a couple of the videos. Hopefully, eventually, he will be it, the camera guy. Um, but let me tell you all the materials that we need. Size 8, muscat hooks, flashaboo, um, all up twine, your scissors and what finish. Here's our common dubbing, bee chain, marabou, and flashaboo. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna start this fly off. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna start this off. Um, and we'll be tying a damselfly today. So, this is the instructional video on how to tie a damselfly. All right. And just a warning, this is not your typical blue damsel fly, but this is how my dad taught me. All right, let's get started. Take your size eight mustard hook, get it on your vise, which my vise is not very nice to me all the time. So this might take a second. All right, got that on. Start off your twine like you always would. Bring it down about a centimeter, three fourths a centimeter maybe. I think is what it's probably pretty close to. Um, then if you have bad fly tying scissors, take your bad fly tying scissors and Cut off what I like to call two eyes of the bee chain. Make sure you hold on to that stuff. I don't um it could go flying and it could break pictures. Warning. That's just a warning. So you tie that on just like you would anything else, except for I like to do figure eights over it just because um that keeps it on there very well. All right, then you take it down to the rear. Oh, I'm just gonna get a get a new piece of marabou. Um, I'm just trust that piece. Um, remember, everything for this fly is olive, not blue. So make, so make sure everything's all of it. Tie that on just like you would anything else because this is in the section of anything else. Put that off. Trash that extra stuff. And because you're able to reuse this right here, this is reusable. When your tying must fly, it's not reusable for every other fly, but um, I'm gonna save that because I'm gonna reuse it for another fly. Set that over there, put back my bad scissors because I'm not gonna need them anymore. T make sure that's tied on very good. Take your flash boo. This will be used as ribbing, just so you know. So it'll be used for ribbing. Um, tie that on there just like you would everything else, just like I did the marabou. Snip that off, snip off your little extra. If you can find it, you should try to throw it away. But sometimes you can't find it unless you hold on to it. All right, then you take your hairline, all, all of, here's your dubbing. I'm gonna need more than how much I just grabbed, but 
I just grabbed a little bit. Twist that onto your line. But make sure your I don't know, never mind. Sorry, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, but twist all that on. Lakes, um, there's a couple lakes that I would recommend this for. Well, like any very populated trout lakes, um, is what I is where I would fish this. Um, some examples are Terriol, Antero, um, Spinny. Those lakes, um, I will use these at, um, especially Antero. Last time I went up there, um, the damsel fly hatch was going crazy. So you just tie this on there. If you can try to get some over the nose, I did not do a very good job on that. But then you flip your twine back on the other side of the eyes. Pull it out, set it over there. Twist that on for your ribbing. I don't know, you could probably, you'd probably only twist it anywhere from six to 10 times, I guess. If you're using a size eight hook. You can use a size 10 hook or a size 12 hook, but those are the only other sizes that I would use for this. Make sure you save this because this is definitely reusable stuff. Um, flip that back over the nose. You're practically done. Just quick finish it. Just like you always would. There's not really any trick to this unless you don't have a whip finish then i don't know how you tie that on but okay take that off that is how you tie a damsel fly usually i would use black eyes for it but i had to use yellow because that's all i had left um just gonna set that right there um Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe. Um, let me let me know in the comments section if there's anything else you want me to do differently or if there's anything else you want to, me to do in this future. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please like this video also. And um, thank you very much.